These are chapters from Spiritual Intelligence. These are the 12 steps to life. Anyone growing spiritually is working the principles of the 12-step program, whether they know it or not. Our church has a 12-step program. They meet in the parish hall. Well, uh, who, are, who are they? Well, the addicts. Why don't you go and meet them? We just met them, and they are us. At best, we are all Pharisees in recovery. Addictions. Irrational thinking formula for addictions is that the event creates the feeling. And this is always going to lead to being a, a victim of addiction. And there are a lot of abuse excuses people have to justify it. Drinking makes me happy. I don't like going to groups. I can't stop. I can stop any time. I have tried the steps and uh, they just uh, didn't work for me. I don't have a drinking problem. I can't feel good unless I get a shot. I'll only take one and this will be my last. The 12-step program is based on consciously looking inside ourselves rather than outside ourselves to find what we're looking for. I can't see anything inside myself. You can't see anything inside by looking outside. How do I look inside myself? You can only do it consciously. Well, how do I do that? Practice, man, practice, practice. The 12 steps. The addict depends on things other than the presence to get what the presence has already given. And so an addict says, uh, well, I don't feel good. I need a shot to feel good. What if you didn't get one? Oh, I'm going to feel terrible. You need to learn how to feel good first so you don't need to get something you already have. We admitted we were powerless over alcohol, that our lives had become unmanageable. Step number one. I'm not powerless over anything. How is it working for you? I've been in jail, got divorced. I'm broke and homeless. The sole purpose of your life may be very well a warning to others. Step two came to believe that a power greater than ourselves could restore us to sanity. I got it. What did you get? The power greater than myself. Can you consciously feel it? I can't feel it, but I got it. If you don't feel it, you don't get it. Step three has made a decision to turn our will and our lives over to the care of God as we understood Him. What has God got to do with it? Addicts get high to feel good. Recovering addicts feel good so they don't have to get high. What has God got to do with it? In recovering, feeling good is another term for feeling God. Oh, I feel God. Step four has made a searching and fearless moral inventory of ourselves. Why should I do that? You cannot change what you don't acknowledge. I'm fearful of making the inventory. Feeling God instead is what it's all about. Well, I feel good after I've done it. You do it because you already feel good. Step five, admitted to God, to ourselves, and to another human being the exact nature of our wrongs. Well, why do I have to tell anyone else? Well, you know what you did and did not do. Well, I don't know. They only know what you told them. So, only you and God know what you're denying. Step six, we're entirely ready to have God remove all these defects of character. 
Why can only God remove my defects? Do you want to go back to step one? Heck no, I've come too far. Then keep on keeping on. Step seven is humbly ask him to remove our shortcomings. I don't do humbly. Go read steps one and two again. What is that about? Pride goes before a fall. My problem is I can't get all this in my head. Humility is a heart, not a head problem. Step eight, made a list of all persons who had we harmed and became willing to make amends to them all. How can I make amends to those I'm still angry with? You have to forgive them. What is forgiveness? Not blaming them for your pain. Where do you get that kind of thinking? Our thoughts create pain, not other people. Step nine, made direct amends to such people wherever possible, except when to do so would injure them or others. Will that make me feel good? Well, I hope not. How come? The 12 steps is learning how to feel God or good before you do anything. God is good. Amen. Step 10, continue to take personal inventory and when we are wrong, promptly admit it. Why do I have to keep taking inventory when I've been made whole? Well, sometimes we leak. I can't afford the time for all this. Which time is more valuable, relapse or recovery? Step 11 is sought through prayer and meditation to improve our conscious contact with God as we understood Him, praying only for knowledge of His will for us and the power to carry that out. I don't pray. Prayer is not about words, it's about feeling good or God. What is his will? To pray. What good would that do? You will not only feel good, you will have the power and knowledge of what to do. Step 12, having had a spiritual awakening, as a result of these steps, we tried to carry this message to alcoholics and to practice these principles in all our affairs. How do you get a spiritual awakening? Become conscious of your inner presence. And then what? Keep on keeping on.